booktube it's missy and today i'm here to share with you guys my weekly wrap up for week 29 this week i only read one book and that is mosquito land by david arnold also um before i get started did you guys watch samantha's um new video over at novels and nonsense about book covers i really enjoyed her book talk today and so um i really really like this cover i love this cover it's so pretty so i wanted to share with you guys who made the cover and then i didn't know but the end papers is a different designer than the person who draws the covers themselves so the cover is my was made by Elan, Elan, Elaine Savage, and then the end papers was illustrated by Andrew Fairclough and Kindred Studio. So, um, loved, loved the book. Let me talk about the end papers really quick. Let me get close. So, for instance, um, all these pictures here, and you can see like there's a road. Uh, what is this? The 84 is the highway that they're on. All of these pictures has to do with the book, which I absolutely loved. And when you first look at all these pictures, you don't know what's going on and what they're for. And then the back, there are different pictures. You want, you can see that. So these are either the places that Mim went to or the people that she met on her road trip. Now, this book was just absolute perfection it was it was perfection i i just loved it uh i've come to realize this this year that i don't hate contemporary i hate romance contemporaries because this is a contemporary i've read lots of contemporaries this um this year so far and i don't mind when it's you know regular people going about their everyday lives and this was no exception so let me just break the book down first of all i talked about the cover i talked about the end papers now i want to talk about the main character her name is mim maloney or mary iris maloney um i love that she decided she didn't want to be called mary and wanted to be called mim as the acronym for her entire name she even goes by mim um, at school, which is just her nickname that her mom, or her mom called her Mary, but her dad calls her Mim. And um, so basically what happens is she had to move to uh, Mississippi, and she used to live in Cleveland, Ohio. Her mom uh, got sick, or they broke up. Her mom and dad broke up, and he, you know, relocated Mim to Mississippi. The dad has remarried and um, Mim hates the the new mother or the you know the new wife and so she's very resentful which is absolutely uh, understandable and I haven't really read too much too many books with um, like step parents in them so it was a good take because the stepmom is not one of those evil stepmothers she really cares about mim and the dad really cares about mim but because they are together and mim is mad that the dad and the mom aren't together anymore she takes it out on the stepmom and hates her guts and again completely understandable this book was so realistic i just loved it so one day mim is uh called on you know the school speakers to go to the principal's office and as she's going to the principal's office, she overhears her dad and stepmom talking with the principal, but she gets she gets in there um, mid-conversation, so she hears something out of context and doesn't know what's going on and gets so upset at the fact that they are talking about something that she isn't privy to that she takes off. And so she goes home, she raids her stepmother's, um, like, stash of, ca of cash and buys a ticket to go to Cleveland, Ohio. Now, within the book, um, you get 
these prompts, which I just love. So it says she's in Jackson, Mississippi, and she has 947 miles to go. So she hops on a Greyhound bus, and the book goes from there. So there are people that she meets on this bus. There are situations that happen. Why? I mean, just the, uh, the characters that she meets on this bus is crazy and so funny and sometimes scary and she gets in a pickle at one point in time and then she goes on like a detour and she tries to like fulfill some kind of like destiny and she meets more people and they she has like a bond with a boy who I just absolutely adore um somebody you would never expect to see in a book which again I absolutely loved and that boy has Down syndrome and I, another fact about me, I grew up with, um, I lived in like a care house where my grandparents took care of five um, adult people who had some kind of mental illness or a mental um, retardation so well, I guess that's not what they call it anymore, but that's what they called it when I was when I was five. So I lived with um, a, a man who had Down syndrome, um, a lady who had bipolar, uh, another lady who was like um, I don't know what her condition was, but she also like hoarded trash, and so like all of these like mental illnesses or deformities, I lived with these people, and they were my best friends, and um, so. The one with the Down syndrome in this book just, ah, I just loved him. His name is Walt, and he's just so funny and genuine because they're so, they're not naive. They're just, you know, innocent, and they're not tainted by society, and they don't have any pessimism, and just they're just happy and optimistic because they don't know any better if that, and I, I don't know. I, I just loved him. I loved him. And then, uh, you know, Mim also meets another boy. And they, you know, have a good, like, solid um, foundation of a friendship going. And these two sidekicks go with her on her journey to Cleveland, Ohio. And it's like a mental illness book, but it's also a road trip book. And it's a friendship book. And it's a coming of age book. And, um, just the the vocab not the vocabulary but like the banter between her and her new friends and her and the strangers that she meets like she's so witty and funny I just I loved I loved this book it was amazing and the ending was so uh it like it kind of wrapped up nicely. I mean, what you experience with Mim throughout the entire book and on this road trip and like, you know, her self discovery and all that and how she wants to go about her life. Um, you find out at the end what happened with the mom and then you're just like, Oh my gosh, you know, you feel for her but you also feel for the mom and then you just you feel for everybody, all of the characters. You have some kind of like feeling for them and uh, it was just so good. It was so good. Seriously, it, I read this I read this in a little over a day. But if I wasn't distracted, I could have easily have sat and read this entire thing from start to finish with with no you know interruptions like I, it was that good and just I can't say anything else enough about it and I was really excited because I tweeted um, David Arnold and I it was just like ah, I'm over the moon with your book I love it so much and he tweeted back and I was so excited um, so yes this is a definite buy for me um, I can't wait to read more of David Arnold's things I just really really liked this book so if you want to read a road trip um, contemporary about a really strong female who you know has her weaknesses because we all have pain in us but she's so strong and there's there's no whining she doesn't whine this is a great book because the the girl in the book doesn't whine she just is gung-ho and she knows what she wants and she just does it and she's like <laughs> balls to the wall I just I loved it I loved it Ugh, no more gushing that's all I wanted to say and that's all I read um, last week so yeah 
Also, let me just share with you guys really quickly the two books that I'm currently reading. So right now is TBR Takedown. I was really busy this weekend with, you know, the family just doing other things. And so I haven't finished it yet, but I am almost halfway through The Gates by John Connolly. This is really good. Uh, it's kind of like a YA Lemony Snicket. Um, he explains stuff to you really funny and like, you know, stops telling the narration of the book itself to talk to the reader which I absolutely love and it's so far so good and then also on my Kindle I am reading um, What Lies Within and by that that's by James Morris I believe uh, the author contacted me on Goodreads and asked if I wanted to read his new book on you know on ebook and I said yes and it's a thriller YA mystery and so far it's really weird and crazy and I am loving it. I'm only 8% in, but what I've read so far is really good. Um, and that's it. So that is my weekly wrap up. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.